Hello, this is Dero from Oomph. And you're watching Loud TV. Stay tuned, motherfuckers. Maybe, maybe a lot of people didn't understand our kind of humor or they didn't expect that we are able to laugh about ourselves, you know. Maybe people do not expect it from Germans, <laughs> I don't know. But um, for us it was very important to have this album because bands who are not able to laugh about themselves and who take themselves too serious become ridiculous by accident, you know, so yeah, we wanted to do it uh, incidentally, so um, that's the better way, I think, and um, I think you have to be able to make fun with yourself, you know, and um, yeah, for us it was important, but, you know, we said, let's do an album which deals about our humoresque side and which, um, which deals uh, with our ability to um, to laugh about ourselves and let's see what happens and we had the feeling that we just worked it out with this album and we made yeah that was important for our career to have an album like that so the next one gonna be darker again you know and that's why why uh, our new album um, is is dark again so it would be too uh, boring and, yeah, I don't know. Um, if, you, if you have have it repetitive, you know, like other bands do. You know, they just copy themselves over and over again. And to me, it's really, um, as an artist, it's really sad to see that there's so many people out there who appreciate their favorite band to never ever change, you know. They just want them to repeat over and over again, to suggest them that this, this is the only thing that they can cling to and they will never ever change, it remains the same. It's pretty much as the Roman Catholic Church, you know. <laughs> over the last 2000 years they didn't change at all and that's their recipe of success, you know. So maybe that's that's uh, the reason why there's still bands like ACDC or what well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and Maiden or Motorhead, rest in peace Lemmy, uh, or, or, or Ramones, rest in peace folks. <laughs> so yeah, there were a couple of bands who never ever changed and people appreciate that fact. But to me as an artist it's just boring, you know. It's just, I could go and paint a fence, you know. It, it's always the same. So I'm a musician, I don't want to do all, uh, the same over and over again. So this is why we changed with Oomph. And we're pretty sh aware of the fact that, that there's uh, many people who um, cannot like everything that you do. So. But I think that differs us from other bands, you know, that makes us special. Because as I said, Especially in the Neue Deutsche Härte genre, there's so many bands who are just a cliche of themselves, you know. And we don't want to be like that, you know. We want to um, surprise ourselves from album to album. And that's why we dare and change. Even though we know that we lose fans, but we hopefully win new ones uh, too. So it's kind of like a fluctuation, you know, <laughs> when we, when we uh, release new, new stuff. But we know that there's uh, also uh, fans who like us from the first album, so they appreciate the fact that we dare and change and we have the guts to evolve. So yeah, that's what Oomph is about, you know, it's like Forrest Gump and the box of pralines, you never know what you get. <laughs> when you're willing to develop as a human being, as we are, 
of course not everybody but we are willing to develop as human beings and then you have to dare to reflect those developments within your art otherwise you start and lie just for commercial reasons as many bands do they know that the best way to have success is to never ever change you know that's why parties like the tea party for example in northern america have such a success or front national in france, <laughs> in france. and, and uh, the, the afd in germany you know that's conservative right-wing wankers you know who suggest people that no everything has to remain the same no we have to step 10 steps back and then everything will be fine again uh, but I don't, I, I don't believe in backwarded things, you know. I mean, you have to look forward, you know. Uh, we live right now and not in the past. So, um, well, of course, I, I, I see why people are afraid right now. There's so many bad things happening, you know. But that does not mean that we have to follow uh, those who scream the loudest, you know. <laughs> so... Um, it's a complex situation worldwide and um, those who have simple answers cannot be the right the right ones in my eyes you know because um, yeah it's far more difficult than than those uh, polemic things coming from right-wing wankers I think uh, the revolution starts within yourself, in your own mind, in your own heart. Try and change yourself and you will see how hard it is. So before you want to change the world, you have to change the smallest world yourself. And when you are able to change, then you reach a lot. Then you reach a lot. I think you have to begin with yourself to be authentical. So. There's many people who aren't willing or able to change themselves, but they want to change the whole world. How should that happen? Of course, everything that happens right now inspires me as an artist. Yeah, if you walk through life with open eyes, you've been influenced permanently. So. Um, yeah, but I don't believe that the world has gone worse and worse, you know, because um, there's always been bad elements and good elements. So it's kind of like those yin and yang thing, you know, in the whole universe. It's kind of like a balance be in between those fo forces and powers who fight. Romulus and Remus? Right, and, or Cain and Abel, so um, you have to uh, choose yourself which side you want to belong, so um, it's up to you, we all have the choice, you know, and that's the good thing, even though there's uh, circumstances who are not really uh, cool, you know, if, if kids were born in families who are really violent then this, the start of course is not perfect but I think as an adult you can you have you have the ability to decide yourself which side you want to be on you know and it's difficult to fight your inner demons but it's in my eyes it's really really important to have the balance between white and black within your all within your soul and don't forget all the shades of gray in between you know because nowadays the black and white painting of the politician politicians increases but there's so many shades of gray between we have we don't have to forget you know so um, yeah <coughs> In my opinion, um, 
education is the key to a better understanding. We have to force education and the social structures, of course, within society. We have to have a strict separation of religion and policy, in my eyes. Religion is a matter of privacy, in my eyes. So. Well, there's still so much to do and to work on, so never gets boring. <laughs>
double-edged sword. You know, there's always uh, another ki uh, side of the coin. So, no, I don't want to change with them. No, definitely not. <laughs>